Okay guys, welcome to my next project. Let's just get any type of form of razor. That'll do. Some foam insulation. That's actually specifically from a light speed. As you can see that's from a socket of a light speed which I haven't used. I've just been chopping it in pieces. Alrighty. Second thing you need, sorry, third thing you need is some Luberex lubricant, right? Uh, this will help to stop the condensation building up on the pins, as well as uh, stop as it states on there already. Uh, let me just show you. Da -da -da, Luberex, if I could just zoom out slightly, protects against rust and corrosion. So, pin rot. If you guys know about pin rot, let me not explain about it. Otherwise, let's just press on. If you don't understand what pin rot is, look it up <laughs> or, or send me a message. So there's the sockets, 2011 socket. There you have it. It's a brand new board, fresh out of the box. Literally fresh out of the box. This we're working with the ASRock X7911 here. Alright, it's about 400 pounds for this board, 500 pounds for this board. Um, it's a pretty interesting board. I don't want to tell you the specs because I just can't be bothered and, and basically we're not here to do that right now. So, um, what you need to do is you need to measure the diameters of the actual hole that we have here. Socket, socket hole. So measure the diameters. Measure the diameters. Then eventually cut out the diameter. The still section from there. What you're going to find is, is that it's fairly thick. So you actually need to slice it in half afterwards. Which will lead you to having, which will lead you to having this right there. What you do? Is this the one? What you do is just slightly tuck it in. Okay, let's just start again on this. So I've chopped this in half, see how thin it is, and all I've got to do is just slightly tuck it in. You want it to be a millimetre, about half a millimetre bigger than the actual hole itself. So when you tuck it in, so when you tuck it in, it actually still it overlaps any gaps within the actual socket itself. Okay, so you want it snug fit. So it'll be a snug fit once you do that. And if you can see, it sits flush. It doesn't stand out of the socket, causing restricting the socket at all. It actually sits straight flush. Okay, that's perfect. Once you've done that, you need to uh, get the die, get the Luberex, and actually get a brush and just brush it on the pins take the mount off the only problem with that is that when you install your CPU it's not going to sit properly onto it so what you're going to have to do is turn your computer on its side and then install the, the clamshell head onto the CPU 